field of 10. Pacers lined up for the fifth race. Open class here for the Breeders' Crown Elimination. Purse of $50,000. Here they come. And they're off, arm broke for Pozo and Brennan's got the pedal down there, urging that one on with the whip out. KF Pro Sam, day in a life, cuts the corner, is out alertly. And CPW's there in the early fray. It's arm broke for Pozo to the front, day in a life second. On the outside, CPW coming on from third. As they head to the opening quarter, KF Pro Sam is fourth. Goliath by Emma got away fifth. Doc Finall is sixth. It's Memphis Flash racing seventh, Cam Ocean eighth, then Intrepid Sealster and Life Source is tenth. First quarter, 27, single file down the back stretch. It's Lachance and CPW. On top now, Arbor Proposal in the second spot with Day in the Life third. Gap of three, four to KF Pro Sam fourth. The gap there. And here comes Doc Finall starting up fifth on the outside. Goliath Bayama stays in sixth. Memphis Flash to the outside seventh. Then it's Cam Ocean. Intrepid Sealster vacates the pylons. And Life Source still trails. Halfway home for CPW. 54 and one. Armbro proposal in the pocket. Rides it here into the far turn with Day in the Life third. On to the far turn. Surging first over, Doc Finall and Dupe, and that toes Memphis Flash into it now. Second over, Miller is fifth on the outside. KF Pro Sam is back to sixth now, getting shuffled out. Cam Ocean into the outer flow, and he is really gearing up third over. Right behind him is Intrepid Sealster. He's got a late kick, trying to do it from the back of the pack. His life source shuffled all the way to last. Goliath by Emma, three quarters, 123. They're in the stretch drive. Doc Finall takes the lead. It's Doc Finall and Dupe. Memphis Flash. Full out in second. Armbro proposal. Brennan is strangling that one down. Can't find racing room. Cam Ocean clear and driving Intrepid Sealster on the outside to sweep on by. It's Intrepid Sealster and Campbell taking it. Cam Ocean in the photo for place on the far outside. Closing hard was Life Source and Goliath by Emma from out of nowhere. 150 and 2. Number 7, Intrepid Sealster. Pays nine twenty-five sixty-five dollars. The six, Cam Motion pays thirteen dollars and eleven dollars. The eight Life Source twelve sixty. Seven six six Acton ninety-six forty. Seven six eight Trifecta one thousand sixty-five dollars twenty cents. Post time for race six in sixteen minutes at nine twelve. Start of the pick for fifty thousand dollar guaranteed pool tonight. Exacta Trifecta. On the sixth, no changes, no changes in races five, six, seven, eight, and nine. In the winner's circle, it's Intrepid Sealster, number seven. A bay horse, a four year old by Cam Luck, out of Immortal by Bruce Gimbel, owned by the Robert McIntosh Stables, CSX Stables, and DG McDonald, trained by Bob McIntosh, winning driver John Campbell. Seventh win this season for Intrepid Sealster, 150 and two fifths, just a fifth off his lifetime best, taken in the Houghton elimination, finishing fifth in that final, bounces back with a victory tonight, showing off his late kick in 150 and two. In just a few moments, we'll be going down to the winner's circle with Bob Hollywood Hayes. Bob McIntosh and John Campbell. John first, John Intrepid Sealster, he's, uh, he seems to love the stretch as much as any horse I've seen in quite a while. Well, he's, he's, that's his race, uh, is not to be used the first part of it, and then he's got a, a real strong closing kick. Uh, you know, if he's close at the head of the stretch, he, he's going to be around at the wire. What kind of trip did you wind up with tonight? Uh, he was third or, well, I guess, fourth over. Um, you know, the cover moved up, but, uh, you know, the fractions weren't that bad. I was a little concerned uh, at the half that, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to reach. But uh, coming off the turn, I knew he was going to be right there because he felt real strong, and uh, we were within, within striking distance at that point. I see 25-4 and four on his line there. Is he, does he have that in his arsenal? Will he need that in the final? Yeah, you just saw it. He's got it there. <clears throat> John Campbell's won more Breeders' Crown races than anybody on the driving side, and on the training side, Bob McIntosh has that distinction. Bob, Intrepid Sealster, this is a homebred for you here? No, he's, uh, we purchased him as a yearling from uh, Sealster Farms for, for uh, 60000 Okay, and I see uh, 919000 counting. He's been good every step of the way, huh? He's a real good two-year-old. He's an iron tough horse, a tough two-year-old campaign, tough three-year-old campaign. He's come back good this year. So. Now, what's training him here? This horse seems to like it off the pace. Is that by design by you? Oh, he definitely is a closer. You know, he's proven that he doesn't like it up front too much. So he's uh, this track is suits him to perfect. He races his best races here. We can come from. You got a shot at this track to come from behind. Where at Woodbine, uh, it's more like a half mile track. There's no chance to close there. Does, does he need a little help in the final? Does he need a, a hot pace? Oh yeah, I think we got a world class bunch of horses there. And, but I think he fits right in with them. 
If they make a mistake up front, he trips out, and uh, we'll be around. Okay, Bob McIntosh looks to add to the list to the Breeders' Crown victories with Intrepid Seals to next week's final.